We are going to draw a set of stairs matching meeting up with a theatrical platform using AutoCAD for Mac 2014. I'm going to start, uh, I've already set the uh, drawing units to architecture um, and we're going to start by moving this to a right view and we're going to change the world coordinate system to a user coordinate system um, and we're going to make it uh, to match the current view which is the right side so I simply hit V and enter and now we have an unnamed user coordinate system. I'm going to go up and change that and save it and rename it to stairs side view so I can go back to it later. So the purpose of stairs obviously is to climb up to something so I'm going to draw a platform using the rectangle tool and it's going to, I'm going to start at the bottom at zero, zero here, turn on my snaps. And I'm going to go over eight feet and down minus six inches. Um, now zoom all, and there's the platform. Now we're going to move this platform up eight feet so that the top of the platform is at eight feet. That's why we did minus six so that it's at the floor. And now when we go up, it'll be at eight feet. Um, and we're going to have our stairs start at zero, zero, so uh, I want to use um, 11 treads because it's 8 feet tall and having um, with a 96 inch rise total divided by 8 inches for an 8 inch rise, that would give us 12 steps or 12 treads including the platform. I'm going to make the run 9 inches and with 11 treads at 9 inch run, this platform is going to be 99 inches over, so I'm going to move it this way. 99 inches. There we go. Now the bottom step, we wouldn't put a tread right at the bottom. Let me draw a tread down here. We wouldn't put a tread laying on the floor. So the first tread is going to be eight inches off the floor. So to give me a guide, I'm going to draw an eight inch box right here. Go up eight inches, eight, tab, eight. That gives me an eight inch box. I'll draw a line. This is going to be a guideline going from the top of the box to the top of the platform there. And now I'm going to draw my tread out of a triangle, I'm uh, sorry, a rectangle, and that's going to be, um, we're going to make it a 10 inch tread, even though it's a 9 inch run. 10 inch tab minus inch and a half will make it out of a, out of a 2 by 10. Um, so there is that first step. And stepping up and the box was just as a guide. So now we're going to use the array tool. And we're going to use the path array, which tells me to select an object. I select that object, I press return, and now it tells me to select a path curve. It doesn't have to be curved. And now we have lots of stairs. Now these are way too tall. The rise is way too much. But we have we have some settings here that we can set. And I've found that it's easier to edit these after you've built it. So I'm going to hit return. And now I'm going to choose the steps. And now I get more choices. I'm going to change it from measure to divide. And over here in the uh, properties manager, I'm going to want 11 steps. Well, actually, I want 12 because that top one needs to be there. We're going to erase in a second. I'm going to change this to 12, number of items. Now we have 12 evenly spaced segments. Zoom in on this. And I'm going to get rid of that top step by moving this down and snapping to that next tread down. Okay, And now we need to go back over here. We've got to choose the array of steps. And we're going to change the number of items instead of 12 because we got rid of one. We're going to change that to 11. Enter. Okay. And now we have an even set of stairs going up. And to double check, we've got 8, 16, 24, 32, uh, 40, 48, right in the center. It's 8 feet off the floor, and we've got our center step right there, and so these are all even. They match down there. I can go back, and I can delete my reference box, and now we have a set of stairs and um, our platform. So let's make these into 3D. We're going to take these, and we're going to extrude the platform. I'm going to extrude it to 48 inches. And we're going to extrude the treads. You can't just extrude it now, it won't work. We need to edit the source, and the tread is the source. So we're going to hit edit. 
choose a tread, uh, edit uh, source objects, and so on and so forth, and we would have to enter that. Don't worry about entering that. We get an OK button at the end. So now I'm going to choose that tread. I'm going to extrude that tread to 36 inches, and now I'm going to save changes. So this is now being extruded to 36, this is to 48, and we're going to take a look. But in order to take a look, we're going to switch back to our WCS. See that? Change the right side view, and now we'll get a diagonal view of it. There we go. There are your stairs. Let's add some stringers. Back to right side. In order to draw in 2D, we'll change our to our UCS, and we're going to choose the array. We're going to hit zoom object. There we go. So now just a touch. So let's draw an array. But before we do, um, if we're using, let's say, a 2 by 12, which is an 11 and a quarter inch piece of lumber, let's give ourselves a reference line from the facing here. And we'll go perpendicular um, 11.25. And then perpendicular there. So this is our reference line right there. That's how big the board's going to be. So if I take my polyline and I go from the very top, and I go down to the bottom tread here, and I go down to the floor for the support. Uh, then I've got to come to this line. Let's see if it gives me a nice. Oh, it does. See that green line? It comes all the way down, giving me a nice reference line all the way up past it. And we're going to grab the bottom of the platform, come down like so, and then see for close. So now we have our stringer along the side. We can get rid of our reference line there, and we've got to find the one that's hidden here, so we'll just do a window like that. Get rid of that one. Here we're going to extrude this to inch and a half. Okay, we're going to change to our WCS top view, and let's rotate it. There's a stringer. Now the stringer is inset in the steps, and we're going to move the steps over just a touch. Move. Let's go. Oops, it is. Let's choose. Well, actually, you know what? This error message is telling us that if we move it away, it's going to um, move away from the path curve. Do we want to continue? Well, we don't need the path curve anymore. We're done with that. Okay. So now we can move it over 1.5. Enter. And this side here, we're going to we're going to grab this and copy. I'll make a copy of it. C O P copy, and we're going to choose this corner right there, and we're going to move it over to this side. We, go. we could just keep on making copies if we wanted to. Now I'm going to hit return. And let's take a look at what that did for us. So we have our steps along with some stringers, but see now, let's take a look at the right side. This moved it down, so we're going to need to move it up to the top of the landing. And let's do this in a symmetric view. Let's change this to modeling. We need move. And there's a plane here, and we want to move it whatever right there. See if that worked. There we go. That worked. Okay, so we've made our stairs and we've made them um, put stringers on it, and we can now put things like railing posts if we want. We can actually do these in 3D. Let's throw a leg on here. On here and we'll put a 4 by 4 3.5 tab 3.5 tab click and then extend it down to the floor now where is the floor well the floor should be if we start right at the platform the floor should be eight feet down minus eight feet Well, it was minus by because we were pulling it down and then it went to eight feet. So we'll simply move this down. Move it down the R 
orange direction, eight feet. And there we go, there's our post. Now if we want to make this taller so that we can use it as a handrail, we can go this over here in the inspection properties inspector. It says eight feet. Let's change this to um, 12 feet. There we go, now it's nice and tall. Anyway, that's the basis. You can add more posts down here. You can add a railing. Um, you can add legs to the platforms the same way that we've done this post right here. And that's how you build a theatrical platform with escape stairs or regular stairs. And there's a lot more custom work that you can do. Thanks for watching.